Welcome to Made in Mari, the podcast that focuses on the successes and struggles of local businesses. Let's get started. My name is G, I'm your host. Today I'm joined by Sean Mote from Murray Digital and we are in the Elgin Youth Cafe. Thanks very much for joining me here and tell us a little bit about what it is that you do. Yeah, of course, Gene. Uh, so I run Murray Digital Limited. We are uh, primarily a social media management company. Uh, so we take the hassle of social media out, out of the hands of a business owner. Uh, but we also uh, do printed design, so we can design your business card leaflets. So what does this involve for you on a daily basis? What are the daily things that you have to do? So I usually meet, meet with a client uh, every month um, to look at what, what they're forecasting, of what's happening next month in their business. Um, and from that, I will then go back to the office and create custom graphics uh, to promote whatever we are within that within that business. So um, using software to create posts for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. So in your line of work, what's more important, a person's qualifications or a person's experience? Yeah, I think um, uh, experience is, is key. Um, to be able to create these posts for a business and understand uh, what a customer is looking for. You have to have some experience um, working in, in businesses. Um, so, you know, yes, qualifications are great, and yes, I do have qualifications, mm -hmm. although they were um, acquired later on. I've built my knowledge up um, from working with businesses rather than coming in straight, straight from qualification. Uh huh. And what was the first spark of interest that sort of told you that maybe your life was going to go in this direction. Yeah, um, so working with working with the uh, local newspaper, designing customers' adverts for them to mm -hmm. to ensure that it attracted customers' attention. That what excites me of, of how how people interact with uh, media. Mm -hmm. um, that really uh, really inspired. Yeah. You know, Absolutely, right. absolutely. Um, I think it's people need help with marketing and selling their businesses in the modern world. And we can't do everything ourselves. We need to work and network together with other companies. So one of the feelings I have from talking with you is that is that's one of the things that your organization does. It actually reaches out to companies and helps them with problems that they have. Yeah, and I also believe uh, collaboration is, is key, especially in Murray. You know, I, I, I work with other companies on, on joint projects. So, um, you know, I know other people that are in PR. You know, PR is not my thing. And mm -hmm. I think it's important that, you know, there is other businesses out there that do what I do, mm -hmm. and, and it's not about competing. It, it's about collaboration and, and, and talking to each other, uh, because there may be a project that I don't want to do or, or I don't have the capacity to do, mm -hmm. and having that network of, of other professionals as well to be able to say, do you, can you do this? Um, I think collaboration is really key here in Murray. Oh, absolutely. Especially for new businesses as well. Um, so, what are the what are the biggest challenges that you're facing at the moment, or the challenges that you've been through in the last two or three months with the business? Yeah, I think um, it, for me, it's uh, getting my name out there. Um, uh, you know, I, I am involved within the local community within Forres, but I'm out with Forres um, and Elgin. I need to get people to know who is Murray Digital, what do Murray Digital do, and how can they how can they help me? Mm -hmm. And what are the what are the methods or processes that you've done so far to get your word out? What's been successful for you? Um, so I'm a member of the the B and I. Mm -hmm. uh, we we meet here in, in Elgin Youth Cafe um, every Friday, um, and having a network of twenty on other business owners, mm -hmm. um, it's like, it's almost like having your own sales team uh -huh. um, that are out there giving your um, message out to them. Um, so B and I has been really successful for me. Um, and, and just building up my, my social media presence and mm -hmm. ensuring that I'm putting out good quality information that communicates what I can do uh, for, for people, but also mm -hmm. educate them as well. So I do, mm -hmm. a, I do a series of, um, I do, I've done posts with how to, 
So, mm -hmm. you know, some businesses might not want me to do, you know, might not want to outsource their social media, but if I can give them a hint or a tip of how to do it better, um, mm -hmm. I also like doing that sort of type of post. Yeah, and I think if you want to draw people in, the way is through education. Mm. Yeah, because if you, if, you um, if you can help people, then it builds up the relationship. Uh, especially in terms of the, you have to you have to know somebody first. You got to get to know them, and you got to decide if you like them or you like their work, and and then you got to you got to build up trust as well. And yeah. uh, educating people and helping them with their own development is one of the best yeah, ways. and and it is true. People buy from people. You know, um, they're not buying Murray Digital. They're buying mm -hmm. me, Sean Mo. Um, mm -hmm. And if they don't like me, it doesn't matter how good my my service is. People mm -hmm. are not going to, you know, people are not going to buy from me yeah yeah especially in uh, in smaller communities where everybody mm. knows and everybody knows everybody so it definitely helps to get your your face out and your message out uh, through the social media so from the work that you're doing what are the parts that you enjoy what are the parts that you like um, I actually enjoy everything <laughs> you know um, uh, a few months ago uh, I was in a situation where a previous employer um, were going through some difficult times and asked me if I would take a pay reduction the yeah. best thing I ever done was say no, um, and that's three months ago. And now I'm doing what I love, running my own business, uh, having the flexibility of, of, of family and, and work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I suppose billing and invoicing is not, <laughs> not the greatest, but it's still, it, yeah, I'm doing what yeah. I, I love. Yeah, it, it's necessary. And the billing and invoicing is part of accountability yeah. as well. It's, uh, it's regulating the work that you're doing. Um, what is it that people don't know about the work that you do or can't see in the work that you do that, that, that you have to do every, every day? What is it that people misunderstand about working in the digital area? Yeah, I, I think people think it's just this, it's just so it's just a, a putting a picture out there and that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's the it, it's the understanding of what the competitors are doing. Mm -hmm. um, Ensuring that the, the messages have got a call to action on them. It's not just grabbing a picture, put it out on social media, there you're done, or or, mm -hmm. or put a bit of text out there. It's it's all the work that goes in behind it before you get to the finished product. Um, you know, people don't see that bit; they just see the finished yeah. product. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They never see what happens behind the scenes. No, <laughs> right. Um, so how do you stay up to date and informed with the, the changes that happen? Because uh, the digital world moves very quickly. Oh, definitely. Um, I'm, I'm a member of the Chartered Institute of Marketing. Um, so from regular news, newsletters, uh, mem membership booklets, webinars, mm -hmm. um, even attending local events run mm -hmm. by other marketing companies. Um, I've attended some, some web you know, um, events by other marketers because you know, it's again, it's all about learning. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right, digital world is changing all the time. You have to keep up to date with with what's new. You know. Yeah. So, what are the most important things happening now in the digital sphere? What do businesses need to be aware of? I think um, I think people need to be aware of. The, the, well, they first they need to make sure that they they're on social media. You know, mm -hmm. in in today's world, um, if you're going to look for a company. Uh, you're going to use Google, or you're going to, you know, you're going to go onto Facebook. If you've mm -hmm. not got a digital presence, then it's, you know, you, you're already fighting a battle. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's, it's, you know, they, they need to be visible um, and doing it, um, mm -hmm. and and doing it regularly, um, because you, you, you know, you, you you'll be the same as me. You've seen many businesses that have a social media platform but they've not done anything since last January mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that tells me that the business is, is either closed yep. um, so it's yeah, yeah or, or not serious about what they yeah. do because they're not showing people that they're working and one of the elements of the digital social media I think is accountability it's showing people what you're doing it's showing people that you're out every day working hard because if your digital media is not up to date then it actually looks like you're doing nothing <laughs> yeah yeah that's the hardest part i think you know yeah um, yeah it's it's like there's there's business there's important business communication happening in and around about us this morning but that is not being communicated to people yeah. and that's important customers need to know that businesses are working on their behalf and so i think there's a wide variety of information that's not being transmitted and also content that's not being transmitted as well and uh, 
that that can be shared through the digital media. Yeah. So, in your opinion, are modern businesses literate in the digital and social media? Or what, what's the situation? Um, but I think I think people are aware that they need to be on it. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think they're frightened. Mm -hmm. um, I think people, you know, the whole the whole accountability that anyone can leave a comment or, you know, yep. people are going to leave comments regardless if you're on social media <laughs> or not. There's so many forums out there yeah. to leave negative responses about people. Um, I think that's one thing that people need to mm -hmm. forget about. Um, yeah. It's about communicating to the people that love you, you as your brand mm -hmm. or your shop, um, and and yeah, forget about the worries of comments. Yeah, so when a business comes to you, what are the first things that you do? What are the first things that you look at? Look at their social media. Right. So what have you done in the past? What's yeah. worked? What hasn't worked? Mm -hmm. um, but then also look at their competitors. Mm -hmm. What are their competitors doing? Mm -hmm. Because they're the experts. I'm mm -hmm. not the ex I'm the expert in social media, but right. I'm not the expert in their business. Mm -hmm. So to understand what they've done previously, mm -hmm. um, and why that's maybe maybe it's had a negative effect of why mm -hmm. they don't want you know they they feel that they, they don't want to be on social media uh -huh. or um, they don't see the value of, mm -hmm. of outsourcing on social media. So I look at yeah. what they've done previously, what they what's worked, what's not. Look at their competitors. Mm -hmm. um, also look at uh, of everything. So even looking at their website, you know, is their website current? Um, it's, it's, I look at the big, the whole digital world of, of, of an individual business um, before I go in and say, well, this is what we can do, this is what we can't do. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of research that goes into oh, that uh, yeah. in the background. You mentioned you mentioned fear that people are scared or afraid to use digital media or put their their messages out onto the digital media. Where do you think this fear comes from? Why do you think people are afraid? I think because. It is so easy to leave a comment, or it is so easy, you know, mm -hmm. everyone knows about, you know, TripAdvisor, Trustpilot, mm -hmm. you know, all these review sites are, are, are regularly advertised to the normal consumer where probably mm -hmm. five, ten years ago you, you didn't know about review sites, uh -huh. and I think they're worried that if they're on social media that they open themselves to people just saying whatever they feel about the about the business. Mm -hmm. So, so what happens if somebody writes a negative comment? You know, what, how does that affect the business? Well, you, you need to you need to acknowledge. You know, I've seen so many social media platforms where people have gone on and left a negative review, mm -hmm. and the business owner's done nothing. You know, you need to. You, yeah, I see a lot. But you have to you have to acknowledge the yeah. thank you very much for your for your feedback. Yeah. And this is what we're going to do. So it's working with the business owner to yeah. come up with the correct response to that. Yeah. Yeah. Feedback. Absolutely, very important. In fact, I was um, I was on eBay a few weeks ago, and I was looking at uh, you know when I order something from eBay, what I do is I I, I, I check what else the person is selling, and I check uh, the comments that people have left, mm. and if they're happy with the, the service or the product provided. And I also check and see if there's some kind of reimbursement policy or understanding. And there was somebody who, who had under their business tag was, all problems will be dealt with. Mm. Yeah. All issues we will we will work to find a resolution. Yeah. yeah. And then you check the information, and it's true. They are trying to do that, and that gives you security. I think as a customer. Yeah. When you know I think you you know you you I think. Yes, everyone's going to get a negative. You're not. You're not going to keep 100% people happy all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's what you do yeah. to rectify that mistake, yeah. and by visibly mm -hmm. responding, yeah. shows you that you do actually care about your customers. Oh yeah, and that maybe that person who left a negative comment is not going to be your customer, but that's okay because somebody who sees your response to that negative comment, yeah. a professional response to it, could be your customer. Yeah, definitely. So it's really, it's really, really important to keep track of, of what's going yeah. on, and and I think intelligent people sort of know that when people leave bad reviews on the internet, it's kind of because they're having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, and and that's one thing that I will do is track uh, for the customer. I keep an eye on um, 
their, their comments, their messages, their reviews across their social media platforms, and then engage with the client and say, look, you've had this review, what are we going to do about it? Because yeah. it's not about what are you going to do, what yeah. we, because I feel that if you come with me, it's a, it's a partnership, you mm-hmm. know, um, I may have a good idea of how we're going to respond to it. Um, so, yeah, it's... it's yeah, so you're, 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 you're listening to, to their needs. In fact, what you're doing is you're, you're going to them and saying, I want to help you solve the problem yeah. that's, that's there. And, and all businesses need help. The reason for businesses existing is to assist people to get to the next level with what it is that they're doing. So um, without someone who has that knowledge in the digital sphere, it's difficult for these organizations. Because they don't know where to start. Yeah, and, uh, and you with experience, and and, and that's where the, I, th- I suppose that is also where the fear comes into it. Mm-hmm. Is maybe they don't know where to start, or, yeah. or what should I be posting? Yeah, how often should I be posting? <laughs> what time even? You know, you, you see so many, yeah. uh, you know, see so many of these uh, websites that say you must post at mm-hmm. nine o'clock on mm-hmm. a Friday morning. Yeah. Well, yeah, that might. What 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 nine o'clock? UK time, yeah. you know, wherever, you know, you've got, you've got to look at the insight of, yeah. of the individual page to work out when it is best to post them. Yeah, and then if everybody listens to that piece of advice and everybody posts at nine o'clock, then you have to change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to find a better time. You've got to yeah. post at 8.30 or and 9.30. And that's 30. where, you know, looking at the, the, the whole monthly report um, for the clients is, is looking at, well, it's saying now we should be changing our, our posting schedule to mm-hmm. posting on a Wednesday at this particular time instead of where we were posting last month mm-hmm. on a Tuesday, you know, just mm-hmm. for example, say, you know, we were posting on a Tuesday at mm-hmm. 7 o'clock in the evening. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's keeping an eye on, on the insights and the, and the analytics mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, and you can get the feedback that you need if you don't test what works and what yeah. doesn't work. So I think it's worthwhile experimenting, putting out information, getting feedback about this works, this doesn't work, and then taking steps forward. We, most businesses understand the principle of A-B testing. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the digital world is just the same. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think, you know, you have to also be realistic. Things are not going to change in month one. You know, it's, you, you've got to give, you know, I don't tie people into contracts. I don't believe in in tying people into contracts. I believe my work speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. But there has to be a a, at least a two, three month period to actually start seeing real results. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you you need a long term vision. Yeah. And um, and so 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 personally, what is what is your personal vision for the future of your work? How do you see that? Um, So ideally, you know, I, I you know at the moment. I, I tell people I'm like Harry Potter. I'm stuck <laughs> underneath the stairs at home. <laughs> um, but you know, in the future, yeah. I really want to uh, take on modern apprenticeships, mm-hmm. uh, employ youngsters to get them into in mm-hmm. in and qualified as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I said at the earlier it's not about all about qualifications, but mm-hmm. um, but I think modern apprenticeships gives you the experience while you're also learning. Um, so my ultimate goal is to have at least a couple of members of staff. Yeah. Uh, and, a, and a physical location because I don't think they all fit underneath my stairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can try. A <laughs> lot, lot, lot of businesses start under stairs, yeah. in cupboards, uh, in garages. Yeah. yeah so uh, so it, it, it's good to have that vision, I think, because um, if I you don't you have... have yeah. yeah, I think you have to have goals, don't you? If you've, oh, not, yeah. got, if you've not got a goal, how do you know where, where you are on that... You know, yeah. I hate to use the word journey. Yeah. Um, because I think it gets overused so much, but mm-hmm. you've got to know where you are on that journey and where yeah. you are to achieving your your ultimate goals. Be oh, it, sure. Be it money, be it you know employing yeah. staff. Yep. Yeah. Be it be it be it be it happiness, be it experience. Yeah. All those all those things are uh, are, are are essentially important. And um, if you don't have a destination, you're journeyless, or not journeyless, but. Uh, what would be the word? Uh, directionless. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> directionless. So uh, it's good to know which way you're going and where you want to go because you can still correct yeah. on the way. And also knowing if it's not working. Yeah. You know, if you don't know where you want to go, how do you know it's actually what you're doing is actually working for your yeah. ultimate goal? So 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, very, very good points. If you could um, change one thing about the industry that you work within to make your life easier, what would it be? Good question. Mm. Um, Give you a few seconds uh, to think, yeah. of, think about that um, one. I just think, um, really, that people don't need to be worried about going on social media. Mm -hmm. I think if we could take away the whole fear of of, mm -hmm. of being on social media or or, or you mm -hmm. know or any digital platform, mm -hmm. if we could take away that, I think it you know yeah. one, I'll be a very rich man. Um, <laughs> But two, yeah. I think more businesses would be uh, would feel more comfortable at, at, at mm -hmm. being on, on on in the digital world. Yeah, and I think you have nothing to fear if you're doing good work or you have good product or, or a good service, because what the media does is it amplifies mm -hmm. what you do. It makes it makes it louder and spreads it out to more people. It also and, means mm -hmm. it also means that you're in there, you're in their space. Yeah. At a time that's comfortable for them, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, seven o'clock watching television, mm -hmm. you know, you're able to get your message to someone at a time that's suitable to them, yep. not the traditional nine till five. Oh, absolutely. There's also the the permanence of the advertisement as well, where if someone puts an advertisement in the newspaper, it's in on Monday and out on Tuesday. Yeah. It's gone, and the newspaper's in the bin, probably. Yeah. Whereas if you're creating the digital marketing, if you're creating like a, a nice a nice meme or a short video about what's happening in your office, and, and you put it out, um, and it's quality, it's there for people a year down the road yeah. when they search online. They yeah. find your video about who the people are in your office, what they're doing for work, uh, you know, how busy people are with. Uh, with, with the things that are going on, and and the, the permanence of that is very important over the long term. Yeah, I think me and you both know what evergreen is. Yeah. But you know, people have probably seen this. What is evergreen? But it mm -hmm. is like you say, creating that piece of video that can be used a year down the line, or 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 six months down the line. Um, if you create something good. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you, that you can use. Yeah, again. and you can use it again and again yeah. and repurpose it as well if you have yeah. that, that digital content. I mean, people forget things in the modern world very quickly, yeah. right? So there's most people are not going to remember the, the, the image or the meme that was posted six months ago on, on social media a lot of the time. So you can put it out again. Yeah. And you've, you've got that sort of control with the digital media where you don't have to go to a magazine or a newspaper and sit down with someone and talk about how to create the whole advertisement everything's prepared and ready to go all someone has to do I think it's just it's, it's contact Murray Digital and say I need that to, to go out again yeah and I think I, I learned something quite early on uh, when I worked for the newspaper about top of mind awareness because mm -hmm. I always wondered well, why do these people advertise in the newspaper every single week mm -hmm. it's because people do forget and if you're not in the top three when people think about mm -hmm. buying a bed or, or buying a car yeah you, you're never going to correct, correct you know get that yep. sale so um by doing social media yep. consistently you are going to be the you know one of the top three that people well, well, remember. absolutely look nobody nobody looks at coca-cola and says they market too much yeah Right? And and it's everywhere, every street, every bar, every cafe, every restaurant menu, it's absolutely everywhere. So deep down inside, I think that people understand that it's what yeah. they need to do. But what they do is that they do it consistently yep. and do it and, and keep on. You know, yep. We all know that Coca-Cola is red. Yep. You know, if, they, if they started to change their color, you know, you'd lose that brand awareness. Um, so it's about doing what you're doing consistently and, and ensuring that Firstly, you've got a brand as well, mm -hmm. um, and consistently, you consistently put the same feel out to the. On, on the oh day. yeah, 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 absolutely. The, the the continuity of what people do mm. is is very important, and also understanding that that needs to change over time. Yeah. Yep. As as business grows, as people evolve, uh, so the message needs to evolve as well. Hopefully, um, what advice? would you give to people who 
are interested in getting involved in the digital digital world you know from your experience say like you're talking to a group of young people or something and you want to give them advice about you know the best direction to go yeah. in well, I think they. Are, I think it's, it's the other way around. They're teaching us. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. you know that they. You know, for me and you, we were never born in this digital world, and we've had to learn it as we're going along. Yeah. You know, um, telling my 14-year-old daughter um, that we had a world without Facebook. Yeah. Is, but I think if you've got a passion and you yeah. you've got creativity, you know social media or, or any type of digital work is 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 the field for them um, and looking for companies that maybe do offer modern apprenticeships um, because you you're working and learning um, is, is is key oh absolutely not not just working to work but working to learn something yeah and uh, and hopefully using creativity as well because I think creativity is the key to solving problems yeah, definitely. Um, that, that's one thing, you know. Social, you know, being in, doing what I do isn't for everyone because you haven't got creati- creativity. <laughs> um, uh, you, well, you, you're never going to succeed. So you, you know, you've got to have that flair about yourself and, and the creativity to come up with new ideas and new ways of engaging customers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that. I think that we're surrounded by creativity all the time and we need to tap into it a lot more. Um, it, and people people do it on a daily basis. What clothes am I going to wear? What food am I going to cook? Uh, or what am I going to buy wherever it is I go? Which road am I going to take in my car today? So the, the creativity is there. People just need to be more aware of the creative side of themselves. How do you stay motivated to do the work that you do? Um, well, I've got a wife and two kids. <laughs> um, but family is yeah, powerful. Yeah, family, family is important to me. Um, you know, mm-hmm. making sure that they have everything. Um, but I'm doing something I love. Mm-hmm. You know, I really do enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, and I think when you when you find, you know, not everyone's so fortunate that they do what doing something on yeah. a day to day what they love. Yeah. But I do what I love, and um, that you know. That's why I'm motivated, but also being able to see results from what I've done. So, you know, if I can put a post out for, for business and, mm-hmm. you know, um, it gets re- really good views, likes, you know, that that keeps me motivated because I think, well, I am doing, a, you know, for that customer, I've done a really good job for them. And hopefully, that, you know, they, they see that as well. Oh, absolutely. And if you, if you do what you love, you you're not really going to view it as work all the time no. yeah so you're going to be able to feed more into, oh, into that you know um you know my wife says that at five o'clock it's time to finish and you know <laughs> if it wasn't if it wasn't for my wife i'd still be sat under the stairs at, at nine o'clock at night um <laughs> because you get so engrossed in what you're doing yeah. and and like you say when you're loving when you love what you're doing um yeah. time just oh yeah it, it flies by yeah it flies by yeah, that's one of the reasons why I think people say uh, the kids grow up so quickly. You know, people have children, they're like, oh, the kids grow up so quickly. It's like because you're with them, you're spending time with them, you're enjoying it, you're being with your family, and it's just going, it's flying by. Yeah. The time is just zooming. What is it that the community could or should do to support businesses like yours more? Um, yeah, I think um, people need to... Um, when they're looking for my type of services, maybe look for local businesses, um, mm-hmm. people that understand the area, um, mm-hmm. understand consumers in the area, rather than you know a lot of people look at you know people down in London or you know the big agencies, mm-hmm. um, but nothing can beat knowing the local area mm-hmm. and knowing what what consumers do. So it's, it's more about. Not just me, but supporting your local businesses because um, if not, you know, there, there isn't going to be. Yeah, there isn't going to be anything. Yeah. There'll be no economy if, if that happens. Yeah, definitely. I think we need to be aware of what's happening glo- globally, but think local in terms of who we're going to work with, who we're going to share our information with, who can yeah. we trust. And, and, and you can't, you know, being up here in Murray, we, we know what's happening in Murray. We know what 
help help consumers are, are, are spending money, what they're not doing. Mm -hmm. You know, is the B word affecting us up yeah, here? Yeah. Yes, I think it is. But okay. um, knowing how consumers are acting, an agency down in London, they're only going to see it from a London perspective, yeah. not a local perspective. So, you know, being with a, a local company is it, worth more money, I, I feel, than, than a, a, a bigger agency. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. How is it that people can get in touch with you and your company and organization and connect with you? What are the yeah. best ways? So um, my website is murraydigital.co.uk. Uh, my email address is uh, info at murraydigital.co.uk. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Super. So basically everywhere online. Yeah. <laughs> be a bit bad if a, if a digital <laughs> agency weren't online. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably one somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, thank you very much for joining me here today and sharing your knowledge and wisdom. I wish you all the success in the future. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you too. Made in Murray is a product of the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. Book a free online personal or professional development consultation today. What are you waiting for?